Hello and welcome to the session. Today I'll help you with the following question. The question says, construct the following quadrilateral from us B, E and D where B, N is 5.6 cm and D, E is 6.5 cm. Now before drawing the actual figure, first let's have a look at the rough sketch of the quadrilateral B, E and D. Where B, N that is one diagonal of the rhombus is given to be 5.6 cm and the other diagonal D, E is 6.5 cm. Now let's move on to the solution. Now we'll construct the rhombus step by step. Now visualizing the rough sketch of the rhombus B, E and D, a first step can be draw a line segment D E equal to 6.5 centimeters. So as you can see we have taken line segment D E of 6.5 centimeters. So we have got one diagonal of the rhombus B E and D. Now we will construct the other diagonal B N of the rhombus B E and D. And we know that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other and are perpendicular to each other. So in order to draw the other diagonal, we will draw the perpendicular bisector of DE. And for this, first we take D as the center and radius more than half of DE and make an arc on both sides of DE, that is above DE and below DE. So our second step is, with D as the center, and radius more than half of DE we make arcs on both sides of DE So as you can see we have drawn arcs on both sides of BE of radius more than 6.5 cm that is DE in the same way taking E as the center and radius more than half of DE we make arcs intersecting the previous arcs. So our third step is taking E as the center and radius more than half of DE we draw arcs intersecting the previous arcs So as you can see, taking E as the center and radius more than half of DE, we have made arcs which are intersecting the previous arcs. Now in the next step, we join these points of intersection of the arcs. So our next step is, join the points of intersection of the arcs so we have joined the points of intersection of the arcs and we have named this line as xy this is the perpendicular bisector of the diagonal DE now let's mark this point as O now we are given that BN is 5.6 centimeters so now our next step would be to locate the points B and N. So now to locate the point B what we do is with O as the center and radius equal to BN upon 2 
and that is equal to 2.8 centimeters we mark an arc on ox so we have made an arc of radius 2.8 centimeters on ox now let's mark this point as b in the same way we will mark an arc of radius 2.8 centimeters on oy so to locate the point n what we do is with o as the center and radius bn upon 2 and that is equal to 2.8 cm we mark an arc on oy so we have made an arc on oy of radius 2.8 cm now let's mark this point as n now we join the points b and d b and e d and n and n and e so as to obtain the rhombus b e n d so now in the next step we join the points b and d b and e n and d and n and e so as you can see we have joined the points b and d b and e n and d and n and e so b e n d is the required rhombus where b n is 5.6 cm and d e is 6.5 cm hope you enjoyed the session have a good day